I said I was a gay Christian and I was told one cannot serve two masters. It's impossible. This is a reference to Matthew 6. Specifically, Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. So I'm gay and that's not money, though I am a California dime for sure. This really highlights the danger when people take verses out of context. This verse has nothing to do with being gay, but it is in the middle of a very interesting section about money. It comes after the famous store up for yourself treasures in heaven passage, and it comes before seek ye first the kingdom of God passage. This verse is about choosing between doing what's right and getting earthly treasure. And yes, my partner is a wonderful treasure, but we are both Christians and our faith is a very important part of our lives. My partner helps me grow closer to God, not farther. Of course, you could argue that it doesn't matter what the sin is. If it says you cannot serve two masters, then you can't do sins and follow God. Well, we've been working through other verses and will continue to work through other verses that show that it is not condemned in the Bible to be homosexual. But even if it were taking this verse out of context to apply to anyone who does something you don't like is a very dangerous precedent. You cannot serve two masters means that money should not be your top priority. It does not mean that anyone who does something you think is a sin is automatically going to burn in hell.